So I suspect there's something wrong with the, the choke because it's uh, really high idle when if it starts it's really high idle and you can't can't really floor the throttle in the beginning so I'm suspecting it doesn't the choke doesn't work so I'm gonna remove this and try it out so this is the choke the electric the the PD 18 J the J stands for electric choke so I'm gonna remove these two screws Maybe I need to remove this also to get access. See if we can lift it. There the screw goes. Mm. So this should be sort of springy and yeah uh, so I'm gonna hook this up to 12 volts DC direct current and we'll see if it it should uh, go out uh, slowly really slow and start this position and then when it goes out it uh, tightens the the fuel that comes goes through here and on the inside here Okay, so followed, followed, can you see? No, you can't, right? Here we have it. So I followed the cable all the way and I think it's this one, should be this one. It was really hard to get access in here, but now I've got it out. So it's two connection points. So we will be a bit tricky to, we can maybe put, get it this way. So anyway, I'm going to pull it out and we'll set it up with a battery. Yeah, so I'm hooking this up. I'm assuming green is, is minus, negative. And I use, I will connect the yellow one to, to positive plus on the battery. So I make sure this doesn't go together. And then put this here, shouldn't do this at home, should have a fuse and so on. But I know what I'm doing right now, so just have to be really careful. So we've got 7 ohm, 7 ohm. So I guess that's normal. So we got we got about 20 millimeters now 19 so I'm gonna hook up the positive now and let's see have to be careful have no fuse Everything is in the camera, right? Okay. So now see if it moves. Do this in. Fast forward. So I can feel it's get, it's warm, so it's driven by resistance, 7 ohms going through it, so it becomes quite a hot resistance, uh, power resistance. So it's slowly going back, now when it has no current in it, cooling off. You can see it's retracted some now. Okay, so that wasn't any problem. So, 
so maybe I have to <laughs> I don't know where to search next but the, the, the scooter runs so it runs well when it's when it's warm just a bit odd when it's cold like it's not, not getting enough fuel or something so I put it back So managed to get it out here, so connecting it back again. There we go, and then pull this back over. This black rubber sleeve. And then push it up. Ah, voila! Bit. This goes like this, and this goes here. Sorry, I'm lonely. I can't do it without hiding for it. So, but you know how to do it, right? Just unscrew it back fuel screw is standing straight up and I'm gonna check if I can get access so I'm gonna turn it to the bottom and see how far I can go And two, and that's the bottom. So two out. So is that a good setting? Let's go back. One and a half. So let's try that. One and a half. So maybe a bit more responsive, but it's it's hotter now, so it runs better when it's hot. Not good, but better. Let's turn it. Do you see? No. There you see, right? So let's turn it. Half. See if it backs to, to worse. So that's two. Two laps out again. Same as we started. same yeah what do you think so can it be something here restricting it should I remove this it's called the chimney right See if it runs better without it. It's uh, on sun. On sun, it goes farther on some of them. So, but this one just goes here. Yeah, let's see if what happens if I pull it out. Pull it out backwards. See if. It's Anything becomes better. Let's 
So let's try it. Mm -hmm. Pretty much the same, right? 